one trillion dollars that is the market cap of bitcoin as of today for the first time ever just sipping on the tears of the bears and the people who are still short bitcoin bitcoin and ethereum both just set new all-time highs today Bitcoin nearly kissing $55,000 as Ethereum continues to flirt with $2,000. What can we expect this weekend other than my trade setups making you guys profits? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to help you guys get to that next level. I wanna see everybody win. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the like button on this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post these videos. You don't wanna miss these trade setups. Speaking of trade setups, on Monday, we gave you guys some fresh new trade setups for this week, and we told you guys to write these trade setups down. So we hope that you did, and we hope that you took these trade setups because we made a ton of profits this week. Let's go ahead and jump right into them. So one of the trade setups that we spoke about on Monday was if we had a dip, which we did have a dip. Now this trade would have been hard to catch uh, because it barely came down to 47,000. It went down to about $47,070. So if you didn't catch this trade, it is understandable and you are completely forgiven. But if you did catch this trade and you were able to write it all the way to the top, guys, you would have done about 160% in profit if you used 10x leverage like we did. So the second trade that we gave you guys was easier and there should be no excuse as to why you could not catch this one. This entry was at 48,000, right? So it was right around here. So it was higher than the 47,000 one right here. So you should have definitely been able to catch this one. You had plenty of time here. You could have caught it several times actually. You could have caught it over here. You could have caught it again over here. Um, so you had multiple chances to catch that one. If you were able to write it up to the top um, where we currently stand now, you would have done about 135% in profits. Then the third trade that we got into on Monday was the 50,000 breakout entry. So yes, if you guys would have tried to enter here, you could have made uh, some profits there. It would have been, you know, small profits, but profits are profits. So as long as you're trailing your uh, trades properly, you should have made a, a profit on that entry. And then you should have re-entered this trade here. So if you would have re-entered this trade and rolled this all the way up to the top, you would have done a whopping 90% profit on that trade with 10x leverage. That was the 50k breakout trade. In Ethereum, we gave you guys a few trades as well. So the main breakout trades that we spoke about was above 1880. And guess what, guys? We got the 1880 break right there. If you guys would have took that trade all the way up to the top, kind of where we are right now, you would have made about 18% profits on that trade using 5x leverage like we did. If you used instead the 1900 entry, you would have still been able to catch about 13% in profits. And if you bought at the dip down here, you could have made 42% profits if you bought that dip and you rode it all the way up to the top. So it was definitely an amazing, amazing week to be taking our trades and just kind of holding them and writing them out to the top. If you would have bought our trades on Monday and rolled them out till today to when you're watching this video, probably you would be in a lot of profits. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin. So the first thing that we're going to do here is go ahead and move this Fibonacci tool, retracement tool up to the new highs. So I'll put that there at the new highs, more or less, and then uh, we can take a look here and see how this changes the scope of 
um, the overall levels here. So you can see that the first retracement level is now here at around that 46,000 area and it coincides perfectly with exactly where we've had a bunch of bounces. You can see all the levels there. You can see the support there, support there. So that's definitely going to be an area to watch out for in the event that we saw a drop back down there. Um, another thing that we're looking at, 50K is obviously going to also be a big, big number there. Um, you know, I expect that to hold as well. And then another support that we're watching here is basically this one right here. Let's stretch that all the way to the top. And then we can see that we've touched here, touched here, that's twice, kind of touched there, that's three times, you know, four, five. So we've had a lot of touches on this support, right? So we can tell this is a, a pretty, pretty stable, pretty strong support. Um, we've been bouncing on it and riding it on the way up. So if we saw a drop here from 55, it could be something like that. And then where we bounce kind of in this range or maybe even, yeah, pretty much that range would be it. Now a drop be below this support, then that's when we can see a test of possibly 50K in that event. Now, another thing to note here is remember this, when I put this target here from the breakout, look, look what happened guys we reached the target, right? So remember, right, last week on Friday and on Monday, we spoke about this target. Um, we said that, you know, this break would lead us possibly to this point, right? And that's exactly where we are, guys. Look at that. How crazy is that, right? Within a week of the breakout, basically, which was around here, um, we reached the exact target that, um, that we spoke about. So that was a break. I can't make a straight line to save my life, but that was a break from that pattern right there. This uh, stick here was the distance from the top here to the bottom here. Um, that's how we came up with that number of 54K. And as you guys can see, that's currently where we're at and we're still currently pushing new highs. So by the time you guys watch this video, we might have broken above 55K already. So now that we've hit this target, we can go ahead and remove that. So now, where do we go from here? So if we break 55, that's right in the middle of between 50 and 60, I'm thinking 60K is next, guys. That's gonna be a big number and you know, above 55, I don't, I don't see any reason why we won't just continue up over the weekend and possibly hit that $60,000 range. So as you guys can see here, MicroStrategy has been uh, selling bonds basically to raise more capital to buy more Bitcoin. So I don't see why there would be any reason for Bitcoin not to continue going up if MicroStrategy continues just flooding the market and buying up Bitcoin. You can see here that today MicroStrategy completes a $1.05 billion raise. So they raised over a billion dollars yet again to buy more Bitcoin. So you can see here that it says MicroStrategy intends to use the net proceeds from the sale of the notes to acquire additional Bitcoin. So this could be in part why uh, Bitcoin is moving like it is currently and it is today. Um, they might have already started to buy up Bitcoin with a new $1 billion that they raised. Or if they're going to be putting it in soon, then that's another reason why Bitcoin's price should continue to go up. You know, right now I'm looking at $60,000 basically as that next target level. Isn't it crazy to say to think $60,000 when just like a few months ago we were like talking about $20,000 and we would look at $20,000 like... Wow, $20,000 per Bitcoin. And now we're like $60,000 per Bitcoin. In a few months, we're probably going to be like $100,000 per Bitcoin. It's crazy to think about. Okay, so in Ethereum, as you guys can see, this nice, beautiful straight lines that I made for to create this uh, channel. Looking at this channel, you can see that we've been basically printing higher highs and then more higher highs and then higher lows higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. So we should see maybe something possibly, unless we get this breakout, then we're gonna continue up. Um, if, we don't, if we don't get a breakout, then we could possibly see a push back down to 1900 or 1880 area. But if we do see a breakout, 
then we should test that 2000 mark and above 2000 and then possibly do something where where we would kind of go like this and then test this top of the channel and then continue upwards so that's kind of what we're watching right now so right right now we're, we're at the top of this channel so the the top of this channel is right here basically um to confirm a breakout above this channel is basically going to be around that two thousand dollar mark right if we break above two thousand then you know we're again even though we are right now but we're, we're going to be in price discovery mode another thing to note here guys is finally we've reached our target remember we spoke about this for the last like two weeks or so when we saw this breakout here we said that our target was going to be that 1920 area and look how funny right here at 1920 is where we had a whole bunch of consolidation so we finally hit our target guys remember i told you guys our, our main target was 1920 after 1920 then 2000 after 2000 then we're expecting it to run so we want to see we're ready to see i think 2500 and beyond after that right um 3000 being that next main target let's go ahead and move up this fibonacci retracement level to more or less the the new highs here all right so i think i got it set there and we can go ahead and delete this old target. So you can see that our that first Fibonacci retracement level would be right around that 1675 zone, right? So if you look at 1675, there's actually been a whole lot of, of price action in these areas. And we've even seen two bounces there, right? So definitely a nice level there that uh, has now been basically revealed to us by this Fibonacci extension. So here we're basically looking for a 2000. That's our next uh, target there. So we want to see 2000 here. If we see some sort of pullback, which we can see, we, we can get a rejection from the $2,000 price mark. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that because it's a, remember, it's a huge number, right? And it's, again, we're setting all-time highs currently. As I'm speaking, we're setting all-time highs. 1972 is now the new all-time high. So if we were to see a pullback here, I'm expecting uh, this level, which is around 1900 to play the first support, then probably around this 1880 area. And if we were to fall below that, then we can see kind of around that 1850. 50 area there is there is uh some some resistance there which would now play as support then we have the moving averages here close to that 1800 area so those would be the different supports that i'm currently watching um in the case that we see some sort of rejection here at 2000 all right guys so next we're gonna go ahead and cover what you've all been waiting for which is the trade setups that we're watching for this weekend if you guys are enjoying this video so far and finding value in it Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit that thumbs up and like this video. And if you've done those two already, then the next step is to make sure and turn on that bell notification. It is very, very important and vital to get you this information as quickly as possible so that you're able to catch these trades if they happen very quickly. Remember, by the time I record this video and then edit this video, it's going to take a few hours before you finally get to see this video. So you wanna have those uh, bell, that bell notification on so that you receive the notification as soon as we put this video up. All right, in Bitcoin, as we continue to also hit new all-time highs, that first level we're watching right now is $55,000. On a break above 55,000, we will be risking about 3% on that trade you know and like i said our target is 60k overall but you should definitely be trailing uh, as soon as you're in profit at least 100 or 200 dollars in profit you should start moving up your stop losses and start trailing it aggressively if you want to you know make sure to take profit if it comes back down or you know if you have a a bigger and wider you know risk tolerance level then you can trade it you can trail it a, a loosely you know but you know it depends on your plan and what you're trying to do overall remember these levels are more for short-term trades not really long term you can take some of the breakouts for long-term investments and some of the pullback support areas for long-term investments to add more money into your trades but usually most of these trades are for short-term trades so if we do see any type of pullback um, or rejection here where it kind of just pulls back like that, then the next level that we're going to be watching is right exactly here, 
where you see it basically coincides with this 52k area it's also going to coincide with this moving average right here which is a 21 day moving average and is going to coincide with all this price action that we had here over the week so that fifty two thousand dollar range will be a level that we're watching um it actually looks like we're about to break 55 right now um if hopefully you guys are able to catch that 55 i know if you're in my trade room we've already given the signal for 55 if this video comes out if you see this video too late i'm sorry uh, the next break, I would say above 56K if you miss that 55K break. If we were to break this support though and continue lower, then uh, we'd be watching $50,000 of course, which will also be uh, in line with this moving averages, the 50 day moving average, it will coincide with them. So uh, that's a good spot that we're watching right there. And if for, for any reason, you know, we went we were to go lower which is unlikely right now 48,000 and then 46,000 would be the two other supports i don't think we'll need them but just in case you never know in crypto um ethereum we're, we're basically watching kind of the same thing we're going to be looking for a breakout above 2000 so that's the big number right now for ethereum you could also take a breakout maybe above 1980 but the safer breakouts probably above 2000 I do expect a lot of price action possibly at 2000 so you just got to be a little bit careful with it but um, those are the two those are basically that's the breakout that we're watching right now if we were to pull back for any reason uh, then we're looking at basically levels around that 1900 area which we saw already a bunch of price action there um, then we're the next level we're watching is possibly going to be right around here which is at 1950 area. And then below that, we'll have the moving averages here. So right around that 1800 area. If for any reason we were to go lower than that, then you know we're watching where we bounced here last time, which is right around that 1700 area for Ethereum. By the way, Bitcoin just broke 55,000. So 56K will be that new, that next breakout area. Alrighty, guys, that is pretty much it. We've covered everything that we wanted to touch on for the weekend. We gave you guys a recap of what happened throughout the week and a recap of the trade setups we gave you on Monday, which crushed it. Then we did an analysis on Bitcoin, on what you should be watching for um, and some trade setups for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I hope you guys make some profits over this weekend. I hope you guys made profits this week with our trade setups from Monday. It is a great time to be alive and part of this community as we continue to make strides and continue to go up man it's amazing and and the support is very very appreciated from you guys that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys have an amazing friday have an amazing weekend and i will see you guys all next week as always peace and love